Hello and welcome to the Big Bang. I'm sure you've heard all about how difficult Bang 100 is. And yes, Bang 100 is challenging. This is because this is most likely the first time you're going into depth about probability and statistics. So here is what we wish we knew when we took the class. Probability and statistics can be boiled down to a few core concepts, which we will cover in the Big Bang videos. Once you understand those core concepts, everything just builds on top of the fundamentals. For example, everything in probability follows the three axioms. The first axiom is that the probability of an event A is between 0 and 1 inclusive. The second axiom is that the probability of the sample space S is equal to 1. And the third is that the probability of the unions of events A1, A2, A3, and so forth is equal to the sum of probability of A1 plus probability of A2 plus probability of A3, and so on. One of the roots that you see here for the Bang 100 tree is the types of probability distributions. Remember, continuous distributions are often just the limits of discrete distributions. This is why you will later see an integral sign instead of a summation sign. Here are some tips on how to approach the class. First off, the textbook. Read it. But don't just read it once. There's not a lot of words in it, but it can be really easy to just skip a sentence that changes your whole understanding of the particular formula. Also, when you're reading the textbook, think about why you need each section. What part of the larger puzzle of probability does each section fit into? For example, combinatorics. Permutations and combinations are not just testing to see if you can discern if order matters or not. You need to be able to figure out the size of the sample space before performing any probability calculations. When it comes to solving problems, if you think that you can use a certain formula, go back to the textbook to see if the conditions of the random experiment match how the formula was derived. Then, try to visualize the problem. You can do this using graphs, tree diagrams, etc. If the problem is complex, try to simplify it so that you write out all the steps. For example, if a random experiment entails multiple random variables, try to imagine the same events with just two random variables. Make a more simple example before tackling the complex example. Another tip is to keep a running list of notation, definitions, and formulas. For example, what's the difference between a capital letter X and a lowercase letter X when we are talking about random variables? Well, it turns out capital letters are the random variable which can represent any outcome of a random experiment, like rolling an even number on a die. Lowercase letters are the values of the random variables, which would be 2, 4, or 6 in this example. Lastly, you'll learn that probability and statistics are centered around functions. Bang 100 will pull concepts from your previous math classes. So this is cool, you're using the math that you thought you would never need again. Here are the key math concepts you will need to re-familiarize yourself with. We recommend that you refer back to this video throughout the course and it'll start to make more sense. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.